The live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. And up next, Survival Night. Yeah, this one's pretty simple. Just do the same thing at night. Oh, we also have got graves. Um, and as you can imagine, we're gonna want the Grave Buster. Um, the graves have a bit some have a bit more uh, tricks up there. Um, up there, stone. So we're gonna want to get them. Let's see. We're, we'll get the uh, uh, scary shroom, the fume shroom. Gotta get something. And uh, hmm. Maybe we'll maybe we'll have a man. I always hate doing this. Like, um, I would definitely like to see you guys like give me challenges and like do certain survivals or mini games with certain plants or whatever. Sounds fun. And see if I can win. All right, let's rock. Yes, yes, we can survive five flags. Here they come. Nighttime stages aren't really my fav aren't my favorite uh my favorite types of uh modes in this game. Mostly just because there's just mostly just because uh I feel like not I feel like uh not as much happens during the uh, night stages. You know, but I guess it's night time. You know, you gotta slow down a bit during the night. Slow down. Another thing, Plants vs Zombies 2 doesn't seem to know of. I definitely would like to talk about Plants vs. Zombies 2 like sometime during this Let's Play, but not right away. Two zombies right on top of each other. I think that might just be because they both chose to go into the same lane. I've never seen that before. Alright, we can already start getting rid of these graves. Or we can start busting these graves, excuse me. I feel like that's like some kind of I feel like that's some that's some kind of like something that zombies would say, but like, hey man, I don't mean to be busting your graves, but but uh you gotta make you gotta get these brains, man. And you should, and you should always make sure you get the cleanest and the most durable cones and buckets, preferably buckets. And you do, and you should also, you should also, uh, brush your teeth before you cross the street. I, I, I. What am I even saying anymore? I'm just pulling stuff. I'm just pulling stuff out of my jugular. That's what the British call it. I know we presume. I know we presumably could get more. Uh, get more uh, potential coins or Zen Garden plants by not getting rid of the graves, but like I said, the graves do have do have. Um, do a little bit more tricks this time. All right, time for the fume shrooms. All 
Alright, now it's time for a huge wave of zombies. The horror music is bugged out again, excuse me. Okay, well I accidentally continue I accidentally unpaused and I didn't get to show that graves will actually spawn now. Spawning actually more even more zombies. The graves will spawn if you um if you uh got all got rid of all of them via the grave buster. I don't know if they can spawn on top of plants, and if they do, I'm pretty sure they will kill the plants. So hopefully that doesn't happen. There we go, the horde music I got as it is here now, so I don't have to freaking edit it in. Which it's not that big of a deal, it's just tedious. Now we got screen door zombies. Won't be an issue with the fume shrooms, so I guess we don't really need to change our army up that much. So instead, so instead, what I'll do is I think I'll maybe get some, get some new plants. Uh, who hasn't had some screen time in a while? Uh, Cabbage Bolt, let's do you. Uh, and we'll get all our other plants in case we need them. And uh, Magnet Shroom, I think we'll get Magnet Shroom. Oh, we got Magnet Shroom. I'll get the pumpkin as well. I think I'll get rid of the walnuts and and put uh, pumpkins in front of them instead. <sighs> oh yeah, great buster. We want to get it. And scared of shooting them. Now, let's put Cabbage Pool right here. And I know it would be better to have two fume shrooms, but that's not much variety. And you know me, I love my, I love me some variety. I love me some PK variety, because PK because variety is my favorite thing. Hey, talking about my favorite things gets me diamonds! That's another favorite thing of mine. Sun, and the screen door zombies will not be a problem because even if the if, even if all the, if the magnet shrooms don't work, which which I don't see why they wouldn't, we have the fume shroom and the cabbage bolt. Now the cool thing about the uh, cabbage the catapult plants is that they are actually not an issue that as uh, that uh is that uh screen door zombies are not an issue to them because they will hit they will throw oh their uh their projectiles up they will land on the screen door zombies head and the, and not its chest. And, well, not the, or the screen door. Therefore, it can actually just take out the zombie that uh, that the screen door is protecting. Nice. We have not bothered to use our hypno shroom though. There isn't here comes another uh zombie from the grave. Uh oh, I think we're gonna get the uh grave busters before we can ah Alright now let's put it down. There you go. Can I quickly put the No of course I <laughs> Now you have football players, they won't be an issue either. Alright. The 
let's get the marigold now. Because I think now we can start uh, start uh, digging up our sun shrooms. Though we not, may not want to do that too fast. Cause, I mean, considering the fact that I'm grabbing the melon pole, that's probably going to be an indication. But then again, uh, maybe we get something else to replace the scaredy shroom. I think maybe we should just... Just bring yeah, let's let's not let's not do melon pole. Let's bring in repeater. I think melon pole may be a little bit overkill. And spike weed, maybe. I don't know. We probably won't need it. And I'm just getting plants because I gotta get something. We also want to make sure we have at least a little bit of sun so we can put uh gray busters down. Cabbage pole, just in case we need. You know, actually, I'll get melon pole, just in case we happen to lose a. We happen to lose a ca use a cabbage pole. Then we can just put a. We can just put a a melon pole down. Should we have enough sun? Actually, I don't know why I did that, but okay. player. Three flights completed and we're at eight, uh, 12 minutes. Already, these suckers can't stop me. Is there a pumpkin damaged? Apparently not. There's another grave. All right, I think uh, I think our army's looking pretty good. Put a uh, grave buster here. Nose and garden plants. And the pumpkin is damaged. So far, I'm not too impressed with the survival. And again, I think I remember my camera LP, I wasn't too impressed with it either. something. I'm being kind of quiet right now, aren't I? I don't mean to be. Alright, Doom Shroom. Oh yeah, we want the Grave Buster. What else should we get, man? Why can't I just go? Fine, Squash. Thank you. 
I don't really think we really need to. I don't really think we need to prepare that um, pumpkin quite yet. I think if you have the garden rake, the uh, garden rake will account for all uh, five flags as if it were a normal level. Put a melopole down now. I think maybe I'll pass on it though. I'll probably put one down. All right, let's put one melopole down. And if and on the off chance that we actually happen to get more get uh more sun, then we can uh yeah, then we can put um put uh, another one down. So I think the Melopole's just doing some chip damage. I gotta wonder how the, uh, how the Melopole exactly, like, damages groups of zombies. Maybe it's that, uh, that, like, the melon fragments are actually, like, splattering everywhere and hitting the zombies. If that's the case, it doesn't really do that much damage. There's another grave. zombies approaching. <laughs> I like how the... I like how the, uh, I like how the, uh, uh I like how the, uh, the Marigold is just kind of making that face. Someone, someone screenshot that and put a caption in it. Alright. So. They're really not changing up the zombie. Like, the zombies, like, I have to wonder if maybe they decrease the difficulty on some of these, uh, on some of these, uh, levels. But, and if that's the case, I just kind of question why. Sun true. What the do, man? Fine. It's always the same one. Jeez, I really don't have much to say, do I? I want to save uh, my son for um, for uh, to put the grip to him and put the melon pulse down, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, we're really getting a lot of coins. Eventually. Eventually, we might be able to get that phonograph. I doubt we're gonna get. I doubt we're gonna get a thousand more coins uh, before uh, uh, before the end of the level, though, because we are gonna get a diamond from uh, from the trophy. But you know, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe one of these zombies will drop a diamond. What do you think, zombies? Got any got any diamonds in in the? Got any diamonds that you want to spare? Now and one melon pole. 
We have all marigolds, all marigolds, all repeaters, all cabbage bolts, and one and one melon bolt, all fume shrooms, and all all and all uh, mag pump, magnet shrooms within pumpkins. And a grape buster. Oh wow! Wow, we actually not, we we did we can get the we can get the phonograph now. Does that show you how good marigold is for making money? I thought so. Oh yeah, and the lawnmowers helped as well. We've now unlocked survival roof. Oh, but what could this possibly be? Let's head back to our Zen garden because uh. Our little flowers are thirsty again. But while they're thirsty, I'm gonna go and grab the uh, phonograph. There we go. And nobody really wants the uh, phonograph. What do you think, Splippy? You wanna listen to the phone? You wanna listen to the phonograph? Nah, because he's not really in a music mood right now. Alright. Time to continue survival. 